Is it going? It's going. Okay. Hi, everybody. It's Nate here with um, Patty, and we just picked Patty up and gave her a ride home. Pinto's here too with us, and Slash was filming. And Patty uh, told me that she does work with conscious communication. I asked if she would share a little bit just about what she does and what that is, and she agreed. So here's Patty. Great. Well, I have been in the personal development coaching field for over 25 years. And um, here recently I got certified, in the last two years I got certified um, by a guy named Robert Stevens in something I've called heard of this Conscious guy. Language. Yeah. And uh, I was very, I met him, I was very attracted to his work and became a certified instructor and have been teaching Conscious Language for about a year. I've been teaching various forms of effective speaking long time specifically in the leadership area awesome. how, what differentiates leaders that seem to produce extraordinary results you know what are the what are the noticeable differences and um, and then Bob took it to the next level um, and one of the things you know a lot of people go through life complaining mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so when you put out your complaints you're really not putting into motion actions that will Bring Absolutely. Forth, bring forth whatever your highest desires are. I call it praying for what you don't want. Hey, that's good. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> um, in fact, there is a scripture in the Christian Bible that says, um, pray without ceasing. So if we took that literally, it would be speak your highest outcomes, you know, all the time as appropriate. Mm -hmm. You know, that we're constantly presencing within ourselves mm -hmm. and to those we meet what our highest outcomes are. Absolutely. So just like you did, hey, I may be a caretaker, you know, in a mm -hmm. fabulous location. And um, so, and for me, I'm, um, I'm bringing forth a patron to um, provide investment capital to create a documentary called Transcending Ego. Awesome. And, awesome. Um, ego, ego not being, you know, good or bad, but just mm -hmm. ego being a language structure of separation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's what conscious language is. We've all been born into a language system of separation and duality. Yeah, that we absolutely have. And that separates us from our outer world, if you will. Even just saying the money instead of my money mm -hmm. or the bank instead of my bank mm -hmm. is, a, is a very subtle way that we separate ourselves. Yeah. Or um, my ex husband instead of my former husband, uh -huh. you know, mm -hmm. creating connection through speaking. So conscious language just um, takes typical sayings like I should, I must, I have to, I can't, mm -hmm. and upgrades them to I choose, I will, I can. And um, if we tell ourselves, um, you know, don't think of a pink elephant, <laughs> there we are. you know, <laughs> we've already brought it forth through language. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so... Um, when we use I can't, I have to, I should, you know, after we're graduated high school, we're really free agents. Mm -hmm. But yet we continue a I have to, I should language system that we outgrew when we were, what, 16, 17, right. 18. Mm -hmm. right. And so um, that's a simple version of conscious language. And um, there are many cultures around the world who their language for time was different, mm -hmm. um, and their lang the Hopi culture, for example, they had much more of a linguistic system of unity. So it's a great, great book. This is so and, amazing. Um, awesome. And very powerful because we really are lang we're languaging our dis our destinies. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We um, are you familiar with Terence McKenna? Mm -hmm. Well, he's a philosopher he died I think in 93 but he was um, he's one of my just all-time heroes mm. and um, he really delved into describing and, and even quantifying mathematically how our entire reality is created by language Wow and what's his name again? his name is Terrence McKenna and he was an ethnobotanist uh, scientist philosopher researcher um, you know into the consciousness of, of humankind and he's just a brilliant uh, brilliant man and what you said just mm -hmm. really reminded me of that and Celestial and I have been working very very much with conscious language and conscious creation and yeah. uh, as we move into this new wave of consciousness in humanity we're documenting this type mm -hmm. of thing and um, 
we have an intention as well of having a reality TV show. Mm -hmm. So we've been collecting footage and sharing it as much as we can with people in the hopes that we can uh, manifest um, a production team uh -huh. and some financial backing that can make it um, just even more feasible to have a live streaming reality TV show where we document the mm -hmm. basically the pulling towards us of what it is we are consciously creating with our language. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Opening well, doors. Are we aligned? You know? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we've opened many doors uh, with our language along the, along the travels, as in um, went to a hot springs the other night and we said uh, we're not really working with money as much as possible, but we carry many gifts. We have many mm -hmm. gifts to bring, and we would love to share our gifts with you. Would you be willing to share your gifts with us? And that just opened the door, and all of a sudden the guy's telling us where we can go hunt for turquoise and go hunt for gold and sure, mm -hmm. stay for the night, have you know, here's mm -hmm. a ticket. And, and whereas, oh, you know, right. it's like if you go in there, if we would be approaching saying, hey, I know your fee's $40, but could we give you 29 mm -hmm. We didn't open that door then of the gift possibility mm -hmm. of the, you know, so it's, we've been learning more and more in our present moment, mm -hmm. extremely how critical our words are. Mm -hmm. and, um, studied that myself it's like I believe that every word we say is a prayer and that our universe consciously responds to our prayer and that the creational matrix we find ourselves in is so perfectly reflected that uh -huh. literally everyone's prayers are answered all the time perfectly throughout infinity so but that being kind of a logical mm -hmm. framework I'm working with then it becomes extremely critical that I become very highly conscious of the words I use. Yes, yes, yes. So we're well, working on that together. <laughs> well, y'all answered my prayer with um, a wonderful ride home, so thank you. Well, thank you oh, for yes. sharing Blessings your work on your, and all thank you. your travels. Thank you. And Blessings I will you. go inside right now and Google Terrence McKenna. Terrence McKenna, with yeah. With a K or a C? Um, Terrence, T-E-R-E-N-C-E, -E uh -huh. M-C-K-E-N-N-A. Okay, great. And if you go um, on YouTube and look him up, uh -huh. you will, I think, really um, yeah, find he'll him be, fascinating. Because I've studied Heidegger and Dr. Flores mm. and a number of linguists, NLP. I'm Pinto. In Pinto. And, um, so. Um, Are you on Facebook? Uh huh. Awesome. Come we here, gotta Pinto. find you. I'm gonna go get my smartphone. Okay. Because um, you know, part of what we're doing as well is um. Documenting the spiritual Pinto. networks that can take place when you're open. To helping, mm -hmm, sharing, mm -hmm. um, driving six blocks to drop off a friend, a new friend, you know. Yes, yes. And, um, <laughs> I'm getting my daughter a dog this this before Christmas. So. Oh, do you know what kind? No, it's more the spirit of the dog. Mm -hmm. I mean, and a small, low maintenance dog. Yeah. Quiet. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. What's how do you okay, how my do I find your name on Facebook? It's um Patty or Patricia. You can put in Patty P A T T Y. Uh huh. Shell. It's like shell only with a U. S H H U L L. Okay, let me see if I can. Find Come here, Pinto. And yeah, you can Come send here. me a friend request, and um, I have a group um, of students. It's a conscious language group. Oh, I just found your website too. Uh -huh, my awesome. Oh, this is so cool. And if you, I study the conversations of masters, both historical and modern day, like Mother Teresa, you know, mm -hmm. consider her mastery level skill. <laughs> Bill Jackson, mm -hmm. he studied Zen, and then, you know, at the championship games. And, yeah, so um, there's some things on my website.